I would like to refer to Article 94 of the Constitution. Arguably the proudest father this week was immediate former education minister Mutula Kilonzo, and one didn't have to go too far to prove it. The look on his face as daughter Kathy Kilonzo took charge from the floor of the Supreme Court Wednesday afternoon said it all for a man who is himself a refined lawyer carrying the ordinary title of senior counsel. And take charge she did as a lawyer representing the African Center for Open Governance, AFRICOG. What saw her mark her territory? Lords, my learned senior will have his time to respond. He must sit down. He's my senior, but he must sit down. Could go too far if one is introducing new evidence in their submissions. My lords, senior counsel will have his opportunity. This is a petitioner's day in court. Surely he must sit down. provide video submissions to support her argument. Clearly, it's not IEBC alone <laughs> that is prone to electronic failures. Reiterate her conviction. Daylight theft or night theft. My Lord, the only, the only logical finding that this court can make, I dare say, about the results of Nyeri County is to vitiate the entire results of that county. Anything else offends the reason why Kenyans stood in line at the referendum to bring in a new constitution. This is what we wanted to stop. And even support her case while seeking reference from her father, at least in his capacity as the one-time justice minister. It is only the IEBC, if this is anything to go by, that has failed as an institution under the new constitution. Parliament has enacted 256 laws, as the former minister for justice will tell you. And he's here. Day one of the election petition trial was indeed a good one for one Kathy. Enjoy my practice. Your Lordship, the Chief Justice, I enjoy my practice in the courts because the difference between the new courts and the old courts it's amazing. Evelyn Wambui, Citizen Live at 9.